everyone, my name is Diksha. If you're new to my channel, please like and share this video. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to this video right now. In the last few videos, I've, I've done the skeletal system and the muscular system. Now, I'm going to do the nervous system and the respiratory system. I think we should start with the respiratory system. Have you ever, have you ever thought about how strong and strong and powerful your brain can be yes it can be more powerful and more cleverer than even some smart high-tech computer yup results have shown as well that your mind beats robots yeah let's start with the nervous system whenever you get hurt like stubbing your toe or something then you get the pain you feel the pain it hurts but how do you get that feeling well we can say our brain is the center for our body it controls all the actions we're doing even you watch choosing to watch this video right now and i talking about it yes so our brain is connected to a spinal cord about here and it goes down our back over here to the spinal cord are bunches of nerves which branch out into smaller and smaller fibers, a bit like tentacles or the roots of a plant, if you have ever done gardening before, to reach every single part of the body. Imagine that I got hurt right here. Yeah, even in the tip of your finger, there are nerves. That, these nerves are fa twice as fast as cars on a freeway, which which you can imagine are really fast. That's why I notice it almost immediately if you get hurt or stub your tube or something like that. I'm going to show you a picture to help you understand this more. This is our brain. Right about here, we have our spinal cord, which goes down and you can see all these lines around here. Yep, those are nerves. Now I'm going to talk about the respiratory system. Respir the respiratory system is an, an is a an really important system, just like all the other systems in our body. When we breathe in, it goes into our, the air or oxygen which we breathe in goes into our nostrils. In our nostrils, there's small tentacle-like hairs that protrude out. These capture any dirt in dirt or mud, soil. But basically flying particles in the air. Then it, then your your breath goes down the trachea. The trachea then split into two parts at the bottom called bronchi or bronchi. The bronchi is split into the lungs. About here, did you know that the right lung has three chambers, where the left lung has two? Have you ever wondered why? Yes, that's because of our heart. Our heart is in the left side of the body. Since it's in the left side of the body and it's about the middle of our lungs, the, the, the left lung has to be a little smaller so that the heart can fit. That, so once it goes down our trachea, it goes into our lungs. To breathe in, our, there is a sheet of muscle underneath the lungs called the diaphragm which also is responsible for hiccups if you ever if you ever had some the diaphragm the diaphragm relaxes and contracts for you to breathe in and out that that's about it it for both the respiratory system and nervous system you may want to look have a look at this as well so we have the nose and we have the mouth which we sometimes breathe into as well then we go down this track here. We have the bronchi, which split into the lungs, the lungs, and the diaphragm. Hopefully, you got a much clearer understanding of the nervous system and the respiratory system. Until next time, bye, friends. Also, please subscribe to this video once again. Bye.